Where organization is the backbone of minimalism, where the intentional lack of clutter is the physical design, the iPad is the perfect companion for a minimalist. But why? Wait, is that bent? Oh, wait, no, we're good. Uh, okay, but why? Well, it's because we have to look at the fundamentals of minimalism. Took off the shoes, otherwise girlfriend's gonna be mad. Because we have to... I feel like I didn't set this shot up right. Oh well, let's move on. Because we have to understand why minimalism is so captivating in the first place. And I am definitely a lot taller than that last shot made me look. It's really about understanding that less is more. And even though mine's not bent so I won't have my 15 minutes of fame, Apple, an iPad is all about doing more with less. It's a sexy concept. And that's two bent jokes in the video in the last couple seconds, so I'm not gonna be doing any more. I've reached my cap. So I'm a little over a week into this challenge now, and my minimalism is in full effect with this iPad. By the way, Apple Campus, before they had the Apple Park. Mm -mm -mm. I don't have a problem with Apple, you do. <laughs> Anyways, when you look at the hardware alone, you get one port, which is more than enough for an iPad when everything is in the cloud and I get to airdrop. It doesn't take up much real estate at all and I just feel like I have more room to breathe with less stuff in my way. Minimalism at its foundation is about decluttering physical distractions to help clear the mind. I've been more productive with this challenge than I have when I'm sitting at my desk and I have all my instruments and toys to keep me distracted. And with not so many distractions, I'm being more efficient with my time. And I told you just a couple of videos ago, time management was my biggest setback last year. I feel more engaged and I have the interactions with these last videos to show it than I've pretty much been with my few one-offs that kind of went big last year. I feel more consistent with the little amount of views that I'm getting here, and I'm okay with that. Because one, it's not about the views, it's about the commitment I'm putting towards the art, the craft of it all. But okay, why? Why is the iPad so appealing for minimalists? Because it does all the things my phone can do, as well as a good amount of things my iMac can do. Just iOSified, if that makes sense. Okay, so I don't have Final Cut, but you know, I'm doing pretty well with LumaFusion. I mean, at least you guys seem to think so. So not only can I go on YouTube or go on social media or respond to emails, but I also feel like I'm being pretty efficient as a content creator just using this. Yes, there are some weird setbacks, so to say, and some learning curves, which I will cover in the actual review at the end of the month. But overall, I just feel more effective with my time. Putting restraints on the mind to have to get creative makes you come up with some good alternatives. I don't plug in the iPad when I'm working because I make myself race against the clock that the battery doesn't die. And then if I'm just being quite honest with it, it's an elegant looking device. I like touching it. I like the way it feels. But all I'm trying to say is that an iPad for minimalist is a perfect full-fledged computer replacement. And that's actually a lot because I can just take it on the go, takes up less space, it's very light. I mean, look at this thing. That's it, that's all I'm working with. In the words of the famous Steve Jobs himself, it just works. So let's look at this as a mid-month-ish review. And so far it's doing good, but I do have some gripes, but that's to be continued later. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just gonna cut this footage right in the middle of me talking, just like I did last time.